It has been a great joy to watch this man defy every expectation, both scientific and personal. I think before we started filming, I spent maybe three or four hours with Stephen. And the overriding thing you, you get when you spend a bit of time with Stephen is his humour. He's like a properly funny man. And this incredibly incisive wit. Um, and, and so that was something that, I, I mean, I barely laughed. I kind of left with kind of sore tummy muscles after um, spending time with him. So it was something I tried to bring into the film. When I was sent the screenplay, I was under the impression it would be a biography of Stephen Hawking, his life and scientific career. So I was surprised and, and excited by the idea of, of do, being about his relationship, his first marriage. So it's more of a love story than a, a biopic, if you like. And so that really drew me to the material. And I liked the strong female point of view on his life and work. And the fact that in the film we have two you know, equal parties in this relationship, as, as in most relationships, it should be that way, I guess. So that, that was interesting and, and made me very intrigued to see how this would work out on screen. It's Olivia Lloyd with her hands down. Um, just someone who made, you know, it was very, Eddie and I were very keen to do lots of uh, preparation to meet carers, um, meet patients, and, and she just made that so straightforward and, and was just, and also would bring us beetroot juices in the morning at sort of 5 a.m. <laughs> when you're halfway through shooting and you've lost the will to live. Um, and yeah, just incredible, incredible. Two Olivias. Um, Olivia the second AD and Olivia who was the runner who Olivia the second AD would make because I wasn't I was I had to not eat very much for the film because Stephen gets quite um, malnourished or, or thin um, when the disease comes in so she was making sure I was healthy by giving me these weird slightly toxic juices every morning um, but um, also then Paul who drove me um, this amazing man called Paul Andrews and he would see when I was really down. I remember one day when I was really um, struggling because I wasn't eating much. I turned back on my trailer and there was a Pizza Express pizza sitting. Which I, I've never been so happy. I think I almost kissed him. There should be no boundaries to human endeavor. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. Thank you. Sorry, did you say something? I said, thank you.